Hi again, and welcome to our blog. I am James Cuervo, Senior Trainer here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is using the Revit filter and its new Enable Filters option. The filter will be for a wall sweep or series of sweeps, but they are not available in the category. So we must first create a selection set, then use the selection set to create our filter. Let's begin. As we can see here, we have a nice little design with some sweeps and some soffits that we will also add to the selection set before we create our filter. So let's start with selecting the whole view this way, waiting for the filter to come up. Go to the filter, check none, and let's look for wall sweeps and roof soffits. Let's say apply and OK. And as we can see, they're all selected. Let's go ahead and save the selection. Exterior sweeps and soffits and say OK to that. Once that's done, let's deselect and come over here to the Views Visibility Graphics Overrides. We will move over to the filters and say add. Here is the particular um, soffit and exterior sweeps selection set and we'll say OK. You will notice that it's now added onto our list. Let's go ahead and define a color for it which is going to be a solid fill with a color of yellow and let's say OK. Let's say OK again and let's apply and OK. As you can see, now we have those added. So if we want to isolate them, it's just a matter of coming over to the edit, the visibility graphics, filters, and we can then just use this particular column right here, which is the, is the enable filters, to turn the filter on or off. As you can see, the filter is off right now. We can turn it on. Or we can just isolate it. As you can see, creating a selection set and using filters in Revit is rather easy. This has been James Cuervo at Digital Drafting Systems, wishing you a great and safe day. Thank you for watching. Till the next one.